you know when you take a glass out of the dishwasher and you're like is it clean or did I just press the lock on the top? I don't know if these are clean, but I'm gonna take it out and chance it. This is one of those times. This is one of those glasses. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm feeling lucky. Accidental love triangle, eek, and we're all in it. Hey, Mike, I love watching your videos and I thought you could help a girl out or at least make me laugh. I'll do my best. I recently slipped into an unintentional love triangle situation. Oops. My best friend of 18 plus years is crazy about a guy and he doesn't feel the same way about her, but in spite of their complicated relationship, they're still good friends. Good. That's the best because those friendships those friendships always work out. <laughs> at a party, he flirted with me and others accused him. Nope. At a party, he flirted with me and others accused me of flirting back, but I don't know that he was flirting and I don't think that I was flirting and I'm 24, but I wouldn't know how to flirt with someone if my life depended on it. He's just a friend and she's upset and I want nothing to do with this drama. I'm sure you can't get me out of this situation, but maybe you could help with this flirting thing. What is and isn't flirting? Apparently, Apparently, I can't distinguish between normal, friendly behavior and flirting. Thanks, Mike. Coincidentally, his name is also Mike. Ha 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 ha! Let's just all be named Mike. Hey, our parents, name us all Mike until we're all just swimming in a sea. I wish there were universal truths that told us what was flirting and what wasn't flirting to help us understand. If a waitress or a bartender smiled at me while I was in my 20s, I would basically call my mom and tell her to buy a dress because it was on. Turns out some people just smile, especially when their job involves getting tipped. Also, some people just have a good day and can't hide it. People who want you to be flirting back will take anything you do almost as flirting back. It's like the people who think that the Mona Lisa's eyes are following them around the room. You think the Mona Lisa gives a shit about you? Mona Lisa got to lock eyes with Leonardo da Vinci or Caprio. And now you think she's straining to be like, what's Jeff doing? What's Jeff up to? Give me a break. Some people will see you laugh at a joke or touch your hair from across the room and say, she's flirting back. And that only proves one thing. The party couldn't have been fun for anyone. You were at the worst party. How could that have been fun if everyone there is debating on whether or not you were flirting back with this other gentleman? Was there even a TV on? In the background, you know what would have distracted me from seeing you maybe or m maybe not flirt with a man? Bowl of snacks. Anything else. People are going to take whatever you do and use it in whatever way they want to. The important thing is that you knew, know currently what you were doing, what you did. And you could either say, yes, I was, obviously, or no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. And then say, how bad did the party have to be? for anyone to care and then you do a burnout on their front lawn while you're saying it. Guaranteed people will care way more about the burnout than who you were flirting with. You think Tracy's parents are gonna come out and be like, she flirted with whom if you're doing a burnout on the lawn? I don't think so. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Doing shows all around Los Angeles. On the 29th, I have a show at 10 p.m. in the belly room of the Comedy Store. That's a wonderful place with wonderful comedy history that I'm not a part of, but I'm next to all the time. <laughs> all right, well, why don't you come out? Anything else? No.